Hi, I'm Chef Andrew Rochon, food editor of Ontario Out of Doors magazine. This month's issue is our hunting annual. The magazine's full of great tips on gear, travel, and some recipes as well. The recipe I'm going to walk you through today is my elk tartare. Elk tartare is one of my favorite appetizers. Lots of flavor to it. Goes really nice with some garlic prostinis or some pumpernickel crackers. One note is that you are consuming raw meat, so for those who are prone to foodborne illnesses or pregnant, it's not advisable that you try this recipe at home. But for everyone else, please enjoy it. This recipe is also uh, really good with venison or even bison as well. Great thing about this recipe is there's no cooking involved. Just a few ingredients chopped up, mixed in a bowl, refrigerated, and then ready to serve. Some of the ingredients I'm gonna use today is the fresh elk loin, uh, some lemon juice, shallots, parsley, gherkin pickles, grainy Dijon mustard, and for the mayo, just a bit of lemon juice, mayo, and some fresh rosemary from the garden. We're gonna dice up our shallot. Add that to your bowl. We're gonna chop up our gherkin pickles. Again, nice small dice. Add that to your bowl. Next, we're gonna chop up some fresh parsley from the garden. Just pull it off the stems like that. Give that a nice fine chop. Add your chopped parsley to the bowl. The next step, we're going to actually cut up and mince our elk loin. So this is a nice elk uh, backstrap, essentially, it's a loin, a very lean cut. Uh, I've removed any sort of sinew, fat, veins, any sort of imperfection like that. So we're gonna have a nice clean taste to it. And then we're gonna cube it up very fine and add it to our gherkin shallots parsley. And then we're gonna season it with some salt, pepper, olive oil, and a bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna slice against the grain. And then we're gonna take our slices and cut those into strips. Nice small strips like that. Now we're gonna take our strips and cut those into very small cubes. We'll add our cubed elk to the rest of the ingredients. Next step, we're gonna add some of our grainy Dijon mustard. Our extra virgin olive oil. Cracked black pepper. Some kosher salt. And a good squeeze of lemon. We're gonna mix all these ingredients together. And we're gonna let that sit and marinate in the fridge for 30 minutes. Next, I'm gonna make my super easy rosemary aioli. It's just a bit of prepared mayonnaise, some fresh rosemary from the garden, chopped up very fine, and some lemon juice. First step, we're gonna take some fresh rosemary and pick it off the big stem. Just the leaves, the stems are quite woody and not very fun to chew on. And then we're gonna chop that up very fine. So our rosemary is nice and finely chopped. We're gonna add some mayo. About a quarter cup. It's always nice to have a little extra. This goes great on sandwiches as well. We're gonna add our chopped rosemary right to the mayo. And a nice squeeze of lemon juice. I'm gonna mix that all up. And there you go, that's our rosemary aioli. So to plate this one, fairly simple. If you want to get that nice traditional uh, round look, that kind of hockey puck look that you see in the French restaurants with a tartare, just load your tartare into a, a ramekin, pack it fairly tight. I'm going to take some of our rosemary aioli. Put a nice of that on our plate. Swipe it like that. We're going to take our tartare. Shape. We're going to serve that with a few of our little crackers, pumpernickel crackers if you want, crostinis. These are ro roasted garlic crostinis. 
From all of us here at Ontario Out of Doors Magazine, this is Elk Tartar. Hope you enjoyed this year's hunting annual. Thanks for watching.